Sure, jazz standards, uh, uh, the likes of which went... Uh, No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, you beautiful demon hordes of the internet. It is Tuesday night, and we're going to light a candle because we definitely just farted. It is go time for Night Attack, <laughs> bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since 1776. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined by my BFF and OAK. It's JRY. What's up, Justin Robert Young? Oh, God damn, man. I'm popping and locking right now. <laughs> Wait, I, I see. I usually only pop, and then I go, ow, ow, and I sort of hop around on one foot awkwardly until my daughter <laughs> but, but, but thinks it's a game. very limberly. Like, you're not locking. Like, no. you're just... You're loose. No, just, just, just like a floppy noodle. <laughs> and I how try to tell you, my kids it's like, a dance. How much do you think it would change all of human culture if after a man came... They just did an octopus wave with all of their limbs <laughs> out in it. See, I would prefer, I would actually prefer it if women did that. So it was much more challenging to fake an orgasm. <laughs> like, so you know, somebody was going to fake an orgasm. They'd have to move all of their limbs for a minute. <laughs> yes. What do you know about fake organisms? <laughs> fake organisms? <laughs> I know. I was going to say uh, Hello, Body Brushwood. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we understand you have a new product uh, to plug. What? <laughs> Oh it does Hold sound on, like we're introducing. Let's go ahead, uh, Bryce. I need you to cue up any kind of music uh, that that uh, denotes a classy art program because we are going to be interviewing the artist. Uh, yes, welcome uh, the to the artist. This week is Bonnie Brushwood. Uh, welcome. Hello, it's good to see you again here at uh, WFUU. Uh, we are. Uh, thank you. We, for having <laughs> me on this show. we we have live in studio Miss <laughs> Bonnie Brushwood. Bonnie Brushwood, your art is renowned as um, being vaguely poor sign and yet thrifty. Uh, your uh, your piggy banks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make a joke about piggy banks. Uh, Okay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Many critics refer to your work as stunning, yet halted in its time movement. And yet others say it is flippant, yet poignant. How would you describe your uh, clay work? <laughs> Fragile and vessel-like. Fragile mm. vessel. <laughs> Reminds me know. of a woman I banged once. <laughs> oh, I was there. She was. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is getting Moving creepy. Moving on. We're just two art hosts who have banged the same woman. More than once? You'll have to stay around to find out for sure. Meanwhile, we're here with Bonnie Brushwood. Bonnie when is your next exhibition? Why, yeah, this... when are you going to whip it out again, girl? This weekend, This yo... certainly isn't any kind of leading questioning. <laughs> considering the weird thing about our relationship, if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> wow, wow, uh, 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 Curtis, you're not normally so forward. I can't believe uh, you would bring that energy to this interview. I'm just saying, art. <laughs> All right. So what what uh, 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 what are you showing off? I am showing off. Yes, the piggy banks. The goods you're gonna show yeah, them. Yeah. The by the way, the one that y'all thought was horrific wound up in the trash. It totally. Oh <laughs> no! It fell all apart. But I have a couple of piggy banks. But I also have my vessels. I have actual sculpture, and people like them. Okay. So, <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. so, uh, this is a new character. Overly defensive, Bonnie. <laughs> 
she's on a program to be interviewed, and the first words out of her mouth are like, and people like them. So don't you try to take that away from me, Mr. NPR host. <laughs> she's like the anti-you. Yes. <laughs> so I need to practice. <laughs> this is good. Better. We're putting you. We're putting you through the whole simulation. Our, our, here we go. So, right so just for practice, if people in the Austin, Texas, or surrounding <laughs> environs area would like to come and see your work, yes. where can they see it? They can see it at the Fire Seed Clay Studio. We're opening our studio on. Um, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Fire seed. That sounds like Fire a way to get seed. clay media. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Sorry. Oh, a, well, you're listening to WPR FM. Uh. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. What can I do about my clay media? <laughs> Sorry. Would it safe to say that as many of your fans are calling it, if you go to that exhibition, you'll get Clay Mitty? <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. Feel the burn. <laughs> <laughs> it's more common than you think. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, uh, it's 10 past the hour listening to WPRFM. <laughs> I'm Brian. WPR is brought to you by generous donations from. Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. <laughs> and viewers like you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you viewing your radio still? That's silly. You should listen to it. I mean, after all, what is this? The fucking fireside chat? <laughs> uh, <coughs> so, if I want to get Clay Media, <laughs> yeah. I go to Fire Seed. You go to Fire yeah. Seed this, this weekend. weekend and next weekend. I go twice because you, <laughs> you won't catch twice. it if you only go once. <laughs> No, it's kind of like you really got to be a you got to be a resident up in there. <laughs> it's a, it's a bit like getting an allergy. You have to be exposed once and then come and back, then a, second come back a second time. And That's then you've got really clean video. It. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from uh, eleven to when, six. When when are these exhibitions? Uh, eleven to six this Saturday. Eleven to six. Eleven to six. <laughs> If you want to get clay That's media, funny. if you want to get clay media, fire but it's also part of a, a bigger tour, like all the West Side studios. Oh, so it's a group thing. It's a whole group thing. Yeah, it is. It's group love. Oh, they're all opening up. Well, but their not studios. the band group love. Not the <laughs> rock band group love. They're yeah. all opening up for the group thing. Yes, and <laughs> there is. <laughs> There are a lot of studios in our area. They've all kind of conglomerated there. Oh, it's it, it just so. a big gang. Yeah. Act, right. Game there's time. Music. There's photos. There's. Oh my gosh. There's pornography. There's metal. There's. Oh, toys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a band, but 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 it, ultimately it, uh, it 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 all goes in the vessel. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just load up that vessel, right? Right. There you have it. <laughs> uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, I believe the border. The border, <laughs> which my body uh, is comfortable walking, not one step farther. Uh, <laughs> I just got a visual of you well, guys breaking my uh, stuff. Uh, apparently, <laughs> after the twentieth sex uh, joke, the body's like, "Ah, you want to know what? We're in the red." <laughs> you know what? Y'all yeah. were, were actually like trying to penetrate my work, and then all of a sudden, I got upset about it. I'm like, mm, mm, uh, "Art penetration? I don't know. Mm. Y'all, y'all can just have the tease." Tease. Well, that about wraps it up uh, yes. for Art Chat on WPR. Uh, uh, Bonnie, one more time, where can people see your work this weekend? Fire Seed Clay Studio, West Austin. It's on Thornton Lane from 11 to 6 on Saturday and Sunday, and next Saturday and Sunday. Uh, there's a traditional sign-off. Anytime we do a <laughs> national public radio-inspired bit, we ask our viewers to bid a fond adieu with a... Uh, Certain comment about a dog. If a dog! <laughs> <laughs> she got it. She got it. Thank you, Bonnie. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, you Bonnie. Thank you.
Uh, <laughs> that's the end of the episode. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. We got a Photoshop of WPR. <laughs> night attack. Look at this body. This is amazing. We need to change our no. Like, uh, all right. Can we get a quorum vote on changing our actual artwork on iTunes? <laughs> Just so <laughs> to WPR. Like... <laughs> it's pretty great. I feel like we're going to immediately get 20,000 new viewers. If we <laughs> oh, our logo to rip very off confused. Off. Like instead of NPR. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bonnie, WPR. Bonnie just got the bit. <laughs> she got the joke. Welcome to the show, Bonnie. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the show is called Night Attack, running live yeah. every Tuesday night. Uh, Brian, you were in L.A. for the last couple days. Do you have any fun uh, stories to tell about old La La Land? Uh, yeah, man, it was a, it was a wild time. I um, <clears throat> so Friday I was gonna I was gonna go Friday night because Saturday um, Greg Grumberg did a charity event for uh, the Epilepsy Foundation and his TalkAboutIt.org. Um, and uh, he wanted me to do some magic at it. He had a lot of uh, uh, bands. He had uh, uh, artists and so on. Um, and uh, uh, it ended up Friday. I shot a thing for uh, the Science Channel <clears throat> with Jason Murphy. Uh, and so we didn't know how long that was going to go. So I decided to go Saturday morning. Got up super early. Flight was supposed to arrive at 10.50 a.m. Plenty of time for me to get on stage by 4 o'clock. Uh, first, they tell us it was delayed because of overscheduling with traffic control. Then they say, oh, psych, uh, it's leaking hydraulic fluid. That's why you're late. <laughs> and then eventually, like four hours later, we we take off and uh, <clears throat> we go straight there. And I'm like, dude, I don't I don't know that all the time. And so uh, we land. I have to grab my stuff. Uh, it, it... So no, no, no. Just just give some context. Yeah. Like if you if this were a a college gig and everything were going perfectly how long would you schedule from you getting to a town to you being ready for the kind of act you were going to perform well for a college show the full show i budget three hours from and that's okay. that's from the time that i show up cleaned and ready to go uh to go over th everything and hit all the sound cues and all that stuff so, so if you're gonna go from the hotel if you're gonna do it the fastest you possibly can from getting to the hotel to being on stage, you're looking at four hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, agreed. Like, like that would be that would be uh, tightest like, scenario that I'm comfortable exact. with. Like Cor we're cutting it to the goddamn bone on yeah. this one. Yeah. So yeah. this one, this one goes so late that I land almost at three o'clock for a four o'clock show, and it's on the other side. It's all the way up in Burbank from LAX. And so I, uh, 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 yeah, there you go. Landed at 2.15. I had 105 minutes to get the bags, and I had to take a taxi to a hotel across the street and then call a, I, uh, I said Uber, but I ended up taking a lift. Um, because it was so much cheaper, it's so fucking insane. They charged me $20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about it, SJW. <laughs> All right. Uh, the, <laughs> uh, they, uh, uh, but I got there. 15 minutes before I was supposed to be on stage. And this is not like like a podunk hobo uh, 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 down home Tim Jamboree, <laughs> if, which is what I know you thought it was, and it's not. Uh, it's it's yeah, a, It wasn't it's, just three people blowing into <laughs> jugs. <laughs> and it's, yes. like, it's like, hey, jars over there if you want to give to them sick kids. Yes, exactly. Uh, they've got they've got people from uh, Epilepsy Foundation who have traveled across the country. And uh, and Greg Grunberg, man, he is just he's he's uh, uh, Jerry Lewis in it, uh, it up. He uh, uh, I see him when I get there <clears throat> and he's and, and he gives me that thousand yard stare. And he's just like. I got one hour of sleep last night. <laughs> he goes, he's like, I'm floating on fumes, but I'm so glad you're here. Big hug, all that stuff. And then, uh, and I'm like, ah, when, when am I on? He's like in 10 minutes. And, uh, and so it's, uh, it's like, he's how literally just trying to fill time and like whoever's there and whoever's not there, yep. whatever. Like if you are ready, you are on. And I do want to say that like Brad Savage was a freaking champ. He was the actual one actually uh, running everything. Uh, did a great job, and it was it was scheduled down to the exact minute. They're like, we need exactly 10 minutes from you. It'll be on this. I'm like, there's no audience there. They're like, we will bring an audience over. It'll be just fine. Uh, I, I set everything up. So I set up three things. I set up the um, uh, the uh, the fire eating, the the human blockhead, and the book test. 
Uh, and and I'm like, I, I, I think I'm good. Uh, question? Uh, sure. And uh, sure enough, it went great. It went great. And it, it was fun because, you know, as we do more stuff in front of the camera and do more big media stuff, uh, I, I fear about my stage show skills atrophying uh, and having a good show like that one, you know, does a good job of reaffirming me. Plus, I got to watch um, uh, uh, Jorge Garcia, the guy who played uh, Hurley on Lost. Yeah, on Lost. Yeah. yeah, I watched him sing Mustang Sally with uh, with band from TV. Um, was, he, was he good? Yeah, he was great. They were all great, man. Everything they did was great. Oh, God. Uh, dude, that's awesome. So did you, you mingle with any other any other celebs? Yeah, there? But they, they were all they were all just thousand yard stare. They'd all been working so hard by that point. You know, I showed up at, at the late part. Uh, I saw um, who's the name of the guy? There's one of the guys that was on Westworld who got like killed and stabbed. I think he was one of the people who almost got away at the end near the like second to last episode. I, I don't Anthony remember. Hopkins. No. Uh, <laughs> James Marsden. <laughs> okay, but uh was it Anthony Hopkins? No, it wasn't it wasn't Tony H. Uh I, I wanna say oh geez, now I'm blanking on his name. This is, this is bad. Oh, oh shit. Was it Tallulah Riley? No. Uh was it Anthony Hopkins? <laughs> no, it wasn't all right. I'm sad I even brought it up. I shouldn't have tried to remember anyone's name. Um, um, no, no, who was he? Who was he? Wait, wait, was he the guy with like white hair that like invented the park and he was like wearing like a suit? <laughs> no, you're, most thinking, of the time you're thinking and... of Anthony Hopkins and it wasn't was... him. No, was it was it... not Anthony Hopkins. No, no, it was uh, Ariana Huffington. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, shit. Was it Hannibal Lecter? Remember that movie? <laughs> no, Hannibal Lecter? no, no, like, no, like no, fava wasn't... beans and an ice key on <laughs> Like was, that? No, was it him? It was. It was not an heiress either. It was. Oh uh, shit! God damn it! God damn it! Uh, anyway, it was good. It was a good experience. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, you know what? It was definitely Anthony Hopkins. He was an oh, utter delight. We, it. <laughs> we figured it out, crew. <laughs> Um, but Wait, it was, now I really want to know. Wait, was it a guy or a girl? It was. It was a guy. Was it Stephen Ogg, the guy I, I, from Grand Theft Auto? No, it was a guy. Is he one of the lab guys or was he mm -hmm. one of the the security guys? Hold on, hold on. Hmm. Was it Anthony Hopkins? <laughs> All right, look, I, I'm gonna. Oh, uh, I think it's Keaton. Yeah, Keaton Savage. There we go. Yeah, Keaton Savage performed. Was right. he the guy? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, take a look at his IMDb. You'll recognize him. He was he in. He played uh, Buck Private in two episodes. That's of right, Westworld. He's yes, a, but oh, uh, he's the um uh the the like the security guy, the little security guy, right? Uh, no, I, that was another guy. I don't know. I don't know who this is. Uh, anyway, oh, he's super shit, cool. Man, Keaton though, nailing it. <laughs> he was he was really good. They were all really good. Uh, the, the band from TV, man, musicians. They've got real talents. They they know uh, true they, truths. They, they, like they've been together for like what ten years now. Like, like, like they got together like around the time we started doing Night Attack. Sure, but but that's the brilliant thing is that they also like the idea is very simple that can translate. You can keep rotating in different people. Like when we saw them last, uh, Bob Guinea from The Bachelor was fronting, and although I did see Adrian Pazdar again, Adrian Pazdar, Adrian Pazdar, Adrian Pazdar, Adrian Pazdar. That show would have been better after season one if there hadn't been a writer strike. <laughs> so uh uh at any rate it was it was a really good event and then uh uh and then i did oh i went to a press junket uh i i, I was in the room with uh with harrison ford and hey uh, hold on Ryan Gosling. how does brian brushwood uh get into a press junket in in los angeles what kind of strings do you have to pull here brian uh basically i got an email saying hi we're warner brothers here's things we do we see that you talk and a lot of people listen do you want to come do our things and i was like uh they're like here are movies we're making that <laughs> you can boy one of those pictures did not match <laughs> i can't see what the next one is when i click it the, uh, uh, yeah, so that for those of you who are not watching live, here's a bunch of pictures that Brian took from the Blade Runner press junket. Uh, the, uh, oh, and, oh, and then there's that. There's a dog, a dog sitting in a, in a stroller with a hat and glasses. 
<laughs> it looks like he's about to get a ticket. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, he's God. getting a ticket from a uh, police officer while his owner is like, well, shit, man, he shouldn't have been fucking around. In a Walmart, too. He's a Texas cop in a Walmart. Oh, it is yet another reason to follow Ad Schwood on Twitter. <laughs> so, By the way, do you know that I feel, actually, you, know, you, you probably don't know this. You know I feel tremendously left out about that. Oh, wait, uh, about, about the dog having the sunglasses? No, about, well, yes, about the dog. I tried to roll around in a stroller with ticket, uh, with, with glasses and a jacket and a hat, and I've never gotten a ticket. Yeah. Uh, no, about that press junket. <laughs> Why? Oh, because I didn't tell you? No, oh. because Friday I get a call from Andrew Maine. Andrew Maine says, I just got an email from Warner Brothers. And they, uh, uh, I talked to them on the phone, and they're doing a big press junket for Blade Runner. And uh, uh, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm possibly in. And then next thing you know, they call back, and they're like, yeah, you're going to watch the trailer, and then you're going to talk to Harrison Ford and Ryan Gosling. And he's like, mm, about that. Sounds early in the morning. Not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, he's so, he got, movie. I don't give a fuck. He got, he got invited. He couldn't be bothered because couldn't it was be only bothered. at 8 well, To be fair, it was, yeah, it was at 8 a.m. <laughs> at 8 a.m., right? And by the way, in Burbank, where he lives, it would literally be like getting up at 7.50 to be there at 8 o'clock. Uh, well, they. Uh, uh, what's interesting is... Like you could tell, like I mean, they Ryan Gosling and and Harrison Ford and who's the director? The guy who did Arrival. Oh, uh, uh, Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Yeah, is there's like, the Arrival. Um, you know, you could tell that the, yes, they want to promote this thing and talk about it, and they had it like a sanitized Q and A where it's like you would submit questions and they would talk about it. Sure. But you sure. could also kind of tell that nobody. I, I guess it's an unspoken rule in Hollywood that that there's a risk of. If you if you are too excited about your project, you risk looking like you're selling it and 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 trying too hard or whatever. Yeah. So it was like every single question, and you'll have to describe this this look to the audience. I think you recognize it when you see it. But okay. every every single question tossed out to Ryan Gosling and uh, Harrison Ford uh, Ford got got this response. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Brian is right now raising both of his eyebrows as he his eyes dart back and forth like somebody like it's a good question. We all agree it's a great question, but he's holding up his hands as if he's holding the question itself, looking for somebody else to take it because although we all recognize its value, somebody <laughs> needs to love it more than I do. I just don't know what to do with it. And then and then attempt to hand the question over to Ryan Gosling or Harrison Ford back and forth like every single question it was amazing <clears throat> um so yeah did they ask the question hey what if all of somebody's friends are being invited to a press <laughs> except all for telling just him Robert about Young. how they do or don't want to go but they have strong opinions some of which are denying going despite the fact that it's 10 minutes away and others are flying from thousands of miles away to be there. And yet there's one common denominator, Lonely Boy McGirt in Oakland, California. A <laughs> little bit. Uh, li uh, yeah, you know, they, 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 they talked about you. Uh, no, the, only re the only response to that question is... <laughs> is, is the eyebrow shuffle. <laughs> Uh, but it, it was it was good. It was a good experience, and uh, and then I came back today, and today's been all day traveling. How about you, ma'am? What 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 you what you been working? You 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 fill any clay vessels? No clay vessels. All I've been doing is uh is is thinking about one thing, Brian, mm. and that is patreoncom slash night attack. Oh, we talked about this. You're doing this meditation regime where you sit there in the yeah. lotus position. And yeah. you, you pray. You pray to Patreon, which I thought and was I weird. Pray, I pray and I pray every day, every day, every day. I'll meet you at the crossroads. One way leads to patreon.com slash night attack. The other way leads to death, Brian. <laughs> well, and, and, and I always I, I, we talked about this last week. I was like, I don't think you should make this a matter of life and death. It's really not a matter of life and death, Justin. No, well, you won't be lonely if you go to patreon.com 
slash night attack. I mean, it's the only way that you can directly support this show. Uh, uh, we're looking to get into just a, an amazing summer of hilarious shenanigans. And now's the time where we could very much use the support of the chat realm and the diamond club to make sure that this is as good as possible. Uh, yeah. Well, if you do, then you might be able to participate in a little thing. We like to call Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of it. All right, before we bust out a name, we got to give an honorable mention because somebody somebody edited their pledge twice, and and if this is his real name, it's awfully co co coincidental, awfully convenient that his name is... Harry Umbre. Harry Umbe. <laughs> or Umbe. <laughs> oh, really? I wonder if he's from northern Kentucky <laughs> or southern Ohio. <laughs> uh, but that's not the person we're shouting out. We're going to shout out no matter what he's doing. I, you know what? I feel like this guy is changing the oil on his own car. I feel like this. Oh, uh, like he's 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 uh none of those rolling boards, right? No, like no, he's no, no, down no. there just like he like scoots on down there like gravel. Driveway, maybe maybe, maybe he's, he's got an old uh, sure. an old Nash skateboard from Walmart back in the day, and he's he's oh, slid yeah. back on that, and then uh, and he's wearing flannel, and his got his mustache is like three times the size of yours. Oh God, just massive, like down to like his earlobes mustache, and and uh, he's got like some like soot, like he's a chimney sweep on his face. Yeah, well his his mustache is so long he ties it to his eyebrows, so it just looks like a handlebar that goes up and then ties off to exactly. with little pink bows. I mean that's just for safety, so it doesn't get caught up in the moving gears when he's working exactly, on the rig. Exactly right, and there he is, changing, changing oil. oil, Mitch. Mitch. Edmondson. Mitch Edmondson. Mitch Edmondson. How's that oil taste? You're not drinking the oil, are you? That's bad for you. Mitch Edmondson. Mitch Edmondson. Mitch Edmondson. Mitch Edmondson. All right. Hi, Mitch. Do you want to get in on that? You want to get in on that 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 Mitch Edmondson chin? Me? Yeah, uh, I, 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 did, I, did, I got it all in my system. I filled that vessel. I got clay media. <laughs> hey, man, uh, uh, we have some shenanigans to get up to this evening. Yeah, the uh, the other day I went and I got on the internet and on the Discord and I yeah you went you went to 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 Chinese internet dot com to, to to Chinese heaven yeah I went and I, <laughs> <laughs> that's right it's yeah. still, still surprisingly cheap to get in it's a good <laughs> it's a good cover fee long oh, line talking about Chinese heaven long man. Line. <laughs> best heaven there is but the way, once you get in you know, the best thing about chinese heaven is that you can get 47 of them for three dollars <laughs> that's right and so when i came back i was like man i had a good time in chinese heaven i said uh <laughs> you said so long chinese god Bye. i'm going back yeah. to earth i'm gonna be among the living <laughs> Uh, we uh, they said like ni hao or whatever goodbye is. <laughs> they, they, they <laughs> said kung e fat choy. That actually is Chinese for a happy new year, right? Uh, good. good so we're good. not racist yeah, in good. your face, everybody. Yeah, who's thinking yeah. This is racist. They said Roman candles. <laughs> they said they said we invented gunpowder. <laughs> Pasta too in your face. What? <laughs> They're like uh, maybe coffee. Even read our wood carvings. <laughs> <laughs> they they, they gave you the tradition. a smackdown on your ass. <laughs> they gave you the the, the traditional yeah. valediction, Marco Polo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, side jack, I did buy a bunch of clothes from China this weekend, and they give you like free stuff when you buy things. Whoa! And so, I I got no lie, a pair of black socks, um, a like vacuum packed thing of. Tea, tea leaves, uh -huh. and a little wooden carving of a boat on a keychain. Wait, you what? Yeah. Uh, one of those things does not belong. With, and <laughs> none of those things belong. <laughs> and you're like, you're like, and also the most adorable handwritten note begging to be saved. I did get a note. Uh, it's in half of it is in Russian, and you get two dollars if you scan a QR code. Wait, what? 
Yeah, a lot a lot of stuff is in Russian on AliExpress. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, I don't know. It's, so there's a lot. And that's just normal stuff. I just bought, like, jackets and, and glasses. Okay, I wish you could see the disgust with which he pulls up his own jacket that he bought and then oh, yeah. drops it on the floor <laughs> with hate in his heart. I like, didn't want to jackets! Uh, motherfucker. Nah. But there's a lot of weird stuff even on the regular Living side of it. Living in Texas, got no uh, daughters. Fucker. Yeah, they come from the Shangzhou province, but they're normal. <laughs> unlike the shit you're going to look at in this segment. So we're going to look at some stuff. It up. <laughs> we're just going to look at some stuff. And you guys, can you tell me what you believe that this is? Uh, dude, that's how you catch a husband. That's that's the <laughs> husband <a> hook. <laughs> I hope that's a sewing cat. <laughs> that's a really sexist comment. <laughs> husband hook. <laughs> it 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 does appear to be a hook, but it's called self time, which makes me think this is a masturbation device of some variety. All right. Ooh. Uh, hey. I mean, maybe no. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's uh some kind of like 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 I I gotta sew. I oh, I lost a button. Here's an easy way to have another. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Place. Why why would that be called self time though? Because uh, I could go to a traditional Chinese tailor, <laughs> or I could have self time. <laughs> you can do it for yourself. I'm just looking do it for, for myself. Sure. I'm looking out for number one. <laughs> all right. Hey, by all right. Wait, can we also mention before we get into the segment? We've done this before to tremendous success. Uh, the last time we we uh, hunted down on AliExpress for the weirdest stuff, which we want you guys uh, uh, to go and and continue to look for stuff and throw it in the chat the entire segment. Uh, uh, Bryce, where can they look? Uh, go to AliExpress.com, A-L-I-E-X-P-R-E-S-S.com, and just put it in the chats. Uh, and also, the last time that we did this, I'm sorry to take away from self-time right now, but uh, the last time we did this, it ended with a very pivotal moment in the friendship of Brian and I where... We were at Dragon Con. It was a long night. We had done a bunch of shows. We did Night Attack. Brian was literally, like, he had exited the party that we were all at as I had gone to go get our winnings from this uh, last bit, the yep. last time we did this bit. I found Brian, and we were literally out for another four hours just touring around in these, the ultimate Kim shirts. It is Kim Jong-un's face on Kim Kardashian's naked butt. Uh, also, in the midst of a of a gorgeous purple purple nebula. That's right. Yes, uh, uh, it's an amazing shirt. It brought us both tremendous joy and uh, uh, hilarious embarrassment. But uh, but now we are looking for the next AliExpress winner that will affect <laughs> we, we, our we lives. Should, we should have our intro segment time. song for this. <laughs> so so let, we can we can look at some of the other. Uh, oh oh oh, images. art shaped. Smooth point That's versus right. flat. That's right. Ours it's bezeled. Are are R. ribbed and lubed. Others are flat and ugly. Um, about seventeen and a half centimeters tall. Man, that is that is a self time. It it looks like a needle. It's got a an eye at the one end and then at the uh, at the top of the J and at the bottom is a rounded tip that looks like it's meant to be inserted somewheres. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna go. Uh, I'm still gonna go home apparel repair. All right. Well, this is the arc shaped stainless steel anal hooks, metal butt plugs, anal fart putty toys, comma big anal sex toys for women and men. Oh! What price do you think the my... arc shaped device costs? I, I knew it had something to do with self time. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you did that uh, pretty good. It looks like a like a hook for a cubby for like backpacks. That doesn't look like that would that. It, it looks like it would feel just like getting your temperature taken as a child. It looks looks like the most popular person at the I know what you did last summer themed orgy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the, the, the hook. You wearing wearing the rain slicks. <laughs> <laughs> and brandishing that. You're there, the slicker, and you've got the self time with you, and you're like, who's Sarah Michelle Geller and who's Matthew Lillard? Because you're both getting it. Um, Real quick, how much do you think this is per piece? Um, 78 cents. 78 cents? All right. Oh, Jesus. You're Just... moving these units. <laughs> self time? 78 cents? What do you think? Hell no, no. That's at least, even from China, that's $10. No way. This is with uh, $16.99 a piece. 
Yes! Sixteen ninety nine. How big is that? Seventeen. Like, you want to spend some money if that's gonna go up your butthole. Like, you like do. you okay. need to be sure about okay, it. Hold on, mm-hmm. real quick. Mm-hmm. What is what is the allure of anal hooking? Like, uh, they're well, like self time. <clears throat> <laughs> you can't just say the brand as an explanation. No, I mean, it's like that's the point is that you're able to do it by yourself. Well, from a standing position. But you hold hold on. You you can do that with just any old butt plug, right? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, if you've got the wingspan of an NBA player maybe, <laughs> but for the short-armed among us, if you're a T-Rex, you're going to need a self tie. Let me tell you also, something about what? the male prostate. Uh, uh, oh dear. Uh more than I wanted to uh, but why the eye eye hole? Uh, uh, to hold it to get a grip. Yeah. Well, but but why is that hollow? Uh, do you thread something through there and and fish hook your yes, yourself you can. from You grab you put your hand in the handle. And then Wait, you get your, your hand. Oh, show rock. me that picture. Wait, There's no way your hand goes in that handle. It's not quite big enough. That's right. not big enough. You can't even get a finger in there. You probably couldn't get a finger. You fucking filthy liar saying you could fit a fist in there. You liar. You dirty bird. I wonder. <laughs> maybe it goes into something. Maybe it hooks in. It's an accessory. Dirty bird. For... You'd love to get your fingers in the self time, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think they're for ropes. <laughs> I'm gross. All right, uh, I'm gonna tell you what this is, and I want you. You are to... saying rope. What the fuck do you think it is? A grappling hook that you'd nestle uh, in your butthole? Okay. Like it, it could be like a like a for a swing. I don't know. I don't know. Rope is not the craziest uh, look, thing. Uh, uh, Here's the mm-hmm. next object. Holy shit! Number one, Bryce. By the way, way to fucking <laughs> start the bit hot. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we go right to butt hook. Well, I, I mean, this is it. Hold on, there's I'm gonna, a, I'm up? gonna, I'm gonna go. Uh, let me open an incognito mode browser. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna type in butt hook, and I'm just, <laughs> I just want to know if this is a thing. Um. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. See, this makes. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. oh uh, so, oh, there's an Amazon link here yeah, for a yeah. very similar product. Yeah. No, that's uh oh, the the fetish bu- BDSM Chrome butt hook anal plug bead cock do, ring. Do you bond. think? Do you think people who enjoy this are acting out of fantasy, where someone's like, uh, "I want to be a fisherman," and uh, they have like a, a rod and reel, and they you lower it, like, and, and then and the I hooked a I hooked a live one in the and, butt, and, and then they show up at like. 4.30 in the morning, and they spend the, all the time with their son talking about, like, work. And they're like, now this was a lively one. She's flopping all around, but you yeah, got, oh, we catch a release you here. What, your mom will be real proud to see the size of this one. I don't understand the Clacky well, like D. Clacky D in the chat just said, my wife just pointed at Jury on the TV and said, you're boring in bed now. I no longer have a crush on you. <laughs> what? <laughs> to him, I think. Okay. To uh, me? No, no, to the, the to Clacky D. Mm. Uh, all right. I'm going to tell you what this is. You tell me how much you think it costs. Uh, wow. This is one piece gold toilet seat, gold toilet, gold fashion, Zua Piang Ki, toilet, bathroom, siphon, flushing, egg-shaped ceramic clothes stool. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I believe that this is a possibly gold plated toilet. And it looks like it it's looks full like size. It's... Yeah. Though it looks like one of those ones you squ- maybe squat over. It doesn't does it seem say to have a seat. cozy aisle. Uh yes, it does say cozy aisle on the watermark. It is that is a cozy aisle. Uh man, I'm gonna call this Trump's Cream Dream. Because he'll, he'll come in it. Yes. <laughs> How much do you think it costs for, for the One Piece Gold Toilet? It'll That's cost there. the taxpayers dearly. Uh, especially if China doesn't admit that they're currency manipulators. It's me, Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, Donald, that's you sound way different in real life. Yeah, no, I I, I do a great Donald Trump impress, in, impression. Yeah. I'm Man, look at me. I'm Donald Trump. <laughs> hey, you're fired. Yeah, well, okay, no, what's weird is <laughs> I'm so not perfect. <laughs> Isn't I'm, it so weird that it's I'm so not- perfect? <laughs> yeah, you're Donald Hey, uh, I, I'm going to fire you, James Comey. 
Oh, no, wait, hold on. Don't oh, here. Uh, all right, this is Justin. Uh, 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 Bryce, uh, uh, you should play some Donald Trump and then do my Trump impersonation right after it. Okay, cool. Let me let me just go just to YouTube. To okay, for now, just, just play the, 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 the song Money. Sure. Uh, <laughs> because I didn't realize, Justin, now that, you know, a great impression brings out the truth about people that you never saw. Sure. Exactly, I, yeah. I didn't realize that Donald Trump was constantly bobbing up and down to okay signs. Yeah, that's a, that's something that you don't realize until you see my impression. That you, uh, uh, really and, uh, he just bounces all you can see. And you don't know that I think okay about it. signs that bounce next to his head as if it were trying to remind you the lyrics to a sing-along song. And, uh, the weird part is I, I forgot that he definitely does keep announcing his name at the he beginning and end saying, of everything I'm he Donald says. Trump. Trump. That was the impression again. Yeah. All right. So I got a clip here. Of Donald Trump. Let me start. It's All right. Little... Now, now, here's the game you guys can play at home. Donald Trump. This is either an actual clip from The Apprentice or an impression. See if you can figure it out. All right. Hey, it's me, Donald Trump. Uh, I'm running for president, and old illegal Hillary will never get in before I do. Ha ha ha! But build a moat for Mexico! All right, Brian, right, do you Brian. think that's Justin or <laughs> Donald J. Trump? Oh, man, that's tough. Um, um, I think that was the gold-plated shitter. <laughs> given, given life. Um... <laughs> Old illegal Hillary. <laughs> it's about time that we lock her in. Somebody <laughs> lock write, her in. Lock her in. Somebody <laughs> write her a ticket. <laughs> She's running away with this country. Old slanted Hillary. China's a China's a currency fiddler. <laughs> fiddler might as well put him on the roof. I tell you. <laughs> Now, um, what you guys don't realize is that that's both me and Brian doing Trump impressions. <laughs> like, they sound so much like the actual I president. I, have I'm still, we I don't things. have the physical president presidents that you do. <laughs> presidents. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that would be, would be great. It's like a psych ops campaign to drive Donald Trump crazy where everybody does an impression of him that's so far off but everybody does it and he loses his mind he's just like I'm Donald Trump I don't do anything like this why are I'm, they I'm Donald Trump uh, I got famous on my television show The Appearance by telling people you've been let go we're gonna make America really nice one more time. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Before this shit show ends. <laughs> By my blue hat. <laughs> All these articles are false news. <laughs> I'm not a marionette. Incorrect. No marionette. No marionette. <laughs> You're such a nasty lady. <laughs> nasty. Uh, all right. Wait, uh, so what, uh, what? How much do you think this gold shitter costs? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Justin. Uh, I'm gonna say that goes for a solid buck twenty-five. This will cost you one thousand six hundred eighty dollars. Whoa. <laughs> Ah, I told Comey, you better buy me a golden shitter or you're going to be let go. <laughs> Rain the bat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's, oh, my goodness. Here's something. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That looks like my opponent cracked up Hillary. <laughs> this is cute, Brown. Hey, did you know that I won the presidency? Let me show you this map. I got a lot of the votes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't raise the roof. I just tickle it with my outside three fingers. He's iconic. Tickle the roof. Tickle the roof. 
<laughs> We're gonna tickle the glass ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> this is cute brown giraffe, giraffe camelot. What's happening with life? <laughs> Camelopar Dallas mascot costume with small fat antler rhombus pink ears. I'm sorry, small fat Hitler rhombus pink ears? <laughs> antler rhombus. Antler rhombus. Man, antler rhombus was really great until they went on tour with uh, Belle Biv DeVoe. Dude, a a antler rhombus, I remember uh, uh, their famous song, <laughs> Spread It Thick. <laughs> <laughs> and and that, that that opening what, man, it was like the chorus go. You always used to sing the chorus. What was the chorus to spread it thick? Sure, it was like spread it, oh spread it thick, spread it, spread it thick. Oh damn girl, time to spread it. Spread them wide, get them legs all up, all in my hide. That's right, I'm naga hide. You can't defeat me. I'll run and hide. Let's slide. Let's hey. do a bind. You you and me. Let's let's try some pride. <laughs> The fried pride. It's better than raw pride. Let's go. It's time for Rombless Hitler time. Thick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God. There's a. Cre so some, they can add extra photos to these uh, pages. And so this shop just makes mascots. And it's the most. It's a <laughs> oh, Jesus! What a nightmare factory! <laughs> it's mascot heads on top of mascot heads. Man, yo, we got heads on heads on heads. <laughs> <laughs> that was the other. That was their other hit, right? How did that go again? Oh, oh no, yeah, Island uh, uh, Ramis. Uh, that was their other. Their other. That was their their ballad, heads on heads on heads, where it was like. Well, because it was like some people said that it was kind of sexual, like it was about a guy trying to get a girl to be to understand that all the yeah, girls are doing yeah. it. It's like uh, uh, heads on heads. On heads is what I want you to give me, girl. Heads on heads on heads. And I don't know where people drew that conclusion that that was like about blowjobs. Well, because it was actually about, never mind. Uh, it was about the War of 1812 and the brutal decapitation. It was actually inspired by the helter skelter of murders. <laughs> So uh, you guys know uh, paint by numbers, right? It's a, a you know you get a thing. It's got numbers. We, we never they, guessed they, about the mascot. How, yeah. How yeah. much do you think it? Yeah. Sure. How much uh, do you think? I don't it know. Uh, hundred dollars. Okay. I'll give that one seven hundred dollars. Three hundred and eight dollars. Ah, you got that one, Brian. Very close. Very. Yeah. Close. No. Well. Yeah. The, the 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 clues were always in the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics you made up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That's how wow, cool that's they were. Amazing. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, Justin, what are we looking at here, buddy? Oh, well, that is uh, what looks to be the opening frame from the famous uh, 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 television show Mama's Family. All right, so we'll go to the next <laughs> And then image. inside is a, a paint-by-number situation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, so it's they give you, like, little... I said, wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. Go right ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Thick. <laughs> Thick. <laughs> so, it comes with, I, I guess this is more like akin to Perlers. Where you, <laughs> Perlers? Yeah, the Perlers. What, what was I their number one hit? Newer. <laughs> but, uh, so you can, you can get, uh, they send you all the colors and stuff. Um, and this is the painting that it makes. Oh my oh, god! God damn it! <laughs> So this is basically you get a bunch of tiles mm -hmm. and you get the ability to put tiles in so that you can make something that if painted by an American would be deemed completely and appropriately racist. Justin, what do you what is hey, can you describe this painting? Because yeah, but do it so do it. I, in, in it, it looks song. to be a winter scene <laughs> where there is a hole in the ice cut out mm. at uh there is a, a Chinese man in a hat and towel, and that is all he has on him aside from his beard, being uh, chased out of a steam room by a very sly cat that is holding a, a, a bushel of wildlife that may or may not have been in that Chinese man's butthole. Yeah, like well, I, I would like to think that this is an actual demonstration of that of that butt hook. 
like in yes. action, like like ha ha, cut gotcha, you. Oh wait, hold on, wait, and also mice are celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's one mice like shouting hooray. There's one dipping his feet in the water. One's running away to go get more of the. Oh, also, the, the guy hooks. has a weird belly tattoo. I don't know if that's like if he's supposed to be famous uh, or something. I think like, that's, that's like a, a that's like a leaf. Oh, no, that's a nipple, and then that's a leaf. Yeah, yeah, he only oh, has one oh, nipple. A, oh, from from the leaf, the, the wildlife. Gotcha. That's right. Uh, you I didn't know. I mean, like, but also, like, that wouldn't have. I, been I, a weird but those family. two mice in the back look like proud parents seeing their kid off to graduation. They're like, "Oh, we've done it." <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, so much him. like you were at yeah. his age <laughs> when when you jumped in the frozen water <laughs> when you got sodomized by the wicked uh, human cat and jumped in the hey, ice bath. Sodomized the by the wicked cat. human cat. You did good getting sodomized, little Chinese man. All American businesses are getting sodomized by the human cat. I'll stop it. I'm Donald Trump. Oh, please let this be. Let him not understand why this is everybody's impression. Of him. I'm I'm Donald Trump. I love being thing. president. It's oh. so <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, I can't give you a price on this, but I want you to guess. Oh, man. The gonna... price? No. <laughs> uh, it's, I would... a, it's a very challenging game when we play it this way. <laughs> I've got one image. What the fuck? <laughs> what is it? Brian, can you describe what this uh, is? Those are shockingly... Uh, sexy teats on on goats like like sure like left not so much right uh if we're gonna rate them in order of hotness (laughs) yeah i mean i don't know she's hardly a 10 I mean, it's definitely Grab four, by the billy. He says it's definitely four, three, two, one. Like uh, uh, <laughs> the the one on the far right. When you're famous, you can move on them like a beach. <laughs> now let's go be on television, Bobby. <laughs> So you're saying that this is a sliding scale of sexy oh, goat tits, goat yeah. Uh, the, the the ones all the way to the right, uh, which looks like is giving a, a little little belly tickle. Um, but uh, yeah, no, they're uh, they're selling goat teats. They're selling goat. Te- I mean, what what do you get when you open the box of goat teats? Uh, permission to touch one. <laughs> but that's it. All right, I want so if somebody can do this before the show's over, I would just really love to see it. And five people are gonna think it's funny, but luckily two of them are on the show right now. I I I just want that picture photoshopped into the Kanye West Life of Pablo album cover <laughs> instead of the big booty hoe, where it just says choose one, like church or a bunch of like fat teated goats. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for that. Justin, what do you think this picture of goats is selling on Ali? Oh, this is actually Alibaba.com. I think that this new is, rules, uh, new rules. This is Baba, not Express. Right, Baba, goat, no Express, uh, goat, motherfucker. Goat milk, goat milk, goat milk. All right, this is live pregnant boar goats. You can just buy pregnant Jesus. goats that are alive, and you can get two hundred pairs. <gasps> Minimum two hundred pairs minimum of goats. For how, oh, oh, you don't know the price though, but they are selling for those interested in big fat, like booty goats. Like there you go, there you go. Uh, did did I ever tell you that there was a uh, there was a brief while that uh, that somebody in our old neighborhood somebody had a chicken or a rooster and uh, and it got out into the green belt and lived out there on the green belt and you could never quite see it, you could never catch it. But you heard it every time, every so often, going like and stuff, and then like, uh, and then you know, this is pre nextdoor.com, but I, you, know, you can imagine the chatters all around, like, why, why is there a chicken in our green belt? Mm. And I was like, Bonnie, I want to buy so many chickens, <laughs> and in the dead of night, <laughs> just release them in the green belt, so it's like nobody knows why all these chickens are there, and like, uh, the fuck. Yeah, exactly, and so and so. Uh, uh, now I feel that way, but I mean, I'm trying to figure out. It, 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 I wonder how long 200 goats would last before we just became a coyote jamboree over here. Oh, I mean, it would depend oh. on your fencing. No, I mean, pff, 
I mean, I'm not letting any of them in on our side. And then then the probably eagles not come very down, long. Snatching our, snatching our dogs mm. and whatnot. Wait, you think that like, uh, like, <laughs> elsewise, all the coyotes would just roam the streets of your development, like waiting for a weakness in your defenses to jump and get into your goats? Oh yeah, but they won't find one because I'll be there shaking my fist at them, and they know what that means. I'll shake them both in the air and say, "Go away! You're illegal." I'm yeah, the president. I built. Build a fence! Build a <laughs> fence! <laughs> we'll get Canada to pay for it. Coachella. <laughs> and the coyotes will pay for it. <laughs> oh, here we go. The life of Pablo. Which <laughs> way? <laughs> That's so good. It's pretty good. All right. So you Which know Which one? So, you know, you one of the things you can get super easy is just, like, real, like, basic consumer goods, right? Yeah, like, like butt hooks. <laughs> butt hooks. Or like, like, just some random shit that you would see. Oh, what's, what's uh -oh. going on over uh -oh. there? He knocked out his audio. Wow, GG. No, no, no. All right, true story. I literally just flopped over this mic cable so hard that it hit Ashley's uh, uh, little pad that plays her stingers on her stream. <laughs> So you can get like t-shirts and they have all sorts of stolen designs, right? And you can get things like iPhone cases, right? Oh so, man, that's a chick with tits. So this is yeah, a Yeah, so a that's a that's a that's a chick with uh sunglasses on and her tits hanging out. Is that what Bonnie's uh, is that one of her uh one of her one, one of her, her potteries? potteries? Uh you know what? Only one way to come out and that's to catch Clay Media this weekend here in Austin, Texas. So I want you – can you – okay, so this is like a drawing of a woman surfing and she's not wearing a top. Yeah. What it's, is – It's almost quaint. It's almost like, you know, yeah. if my 13-year-old had this, I'd roll my eyes, but that's about it. So what no, is I, – I could, I could see this as like feminist accessory. Like, like yeah. I, I, would, I would see this out here in the Bay Area. Excess. I ought to make a law against it. <laughs> so can, I want both of you to give me a design that is – Weirder than this. Uh, oh, uh, she has antlers and a tail, and her legs are fully spread eagled, and there's no panties on. Okay. Uh, 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 ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Snurdly, I, I, I can't beat it. I, I'm afraid I'll have to use the word myself. <laughs> so this is, <laughs> so this is another option on this lot, and it is a butt <laughs> fart. <out. laughs> uh. Okay, and not just a butt farting, but also a fairly, a fairly rotund individual. Sure, it was but thick. but it was where, rather thick. A thick uh, okay, uh, guys, I, I don't I don't want to get demandy here, but if we can just get that picture of the butt farting on the Kanye West Life of Pablo <laughs> album. I would really <laughs> So okay, but but it's like it's not it's not it's definitely a woman. A question mark. Um, the, the wearing high knee, heels, knee, and high, knee socks high socks, and sure. high it, heels. Is, it is either a very uh, ample backside of a darker woman in high heels, or former Dallas Cowboy offensive lineman Nate Newton. Or One of two. <laughs> it it kind of looks like the animation that used to play at the Astrodome whenever the Oilers would score a touchdown, and there was that angry Longhorn who would be snorting that big puff, puff of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deep cut. And then, fuck, and then flags would unfurl from its longhorn horns and stuff. I mean, am I the only one that remembers that? The Buddhist. They, they had it in the Bad News Bears sequel. Mm. Mm. Well, I love my black supporters. <laughs> President Another Trump. impression. That, a lot of people might have thought that that was Donald Trump. That's, it was. Well, it, it, again, man, you don't notice how many times he says it until you hear it in an impression. So you hear it, yeah. All right. Here's. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> what is this? Uh, that's a that's a tiny saxophone. I'm gonna say that the actual title of this tiny saxophone good time herbal relief remedy, uh, uh, smoke 'em. Okay. Ooh, you think it's like a like a one hitter? Yeah. Mmm. I, I. Oh shit. That's good. That does look. I'm gonna ditto. Rush like. <laughs> Snurdly. Snur 
<laughs> I'm not very good at this job. <laughs> no, you. I think you nailed this. This is almost definitely a one-hitter. Either that or an anal hook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it definitely is. New arrival, excellent quality, new fashion, a small portable saxophone metal pipe, smoke weed, hookup pipe, tobacco. Oh! I'm calling that one. Calling that That's one. A good one. Uh, uh, uh. How much How much does the new arrival, excellent quality, et cetera, cost <laughs> per piece? I don't know. Can you really put a price on lead poisoning? Apparently. $5. $5? No. Three. Two 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 eighty seven two eighty four two eighty four two eighty four okay. Oh yeah, listen, you're gonna smoke weed out of something hastily created in an emerging economy's factory, like your grandfather. Uh, uh, I think that that one. Oh, you can get those in bulk. I, I think that one goes for a buck fifty. Brian, you were so close. You said two eighty four. Yes, it's two forty eight. Oh fuck fuck. You were. You went over. <clears throat> I win. I'm a winner. I'm <laughs> when you're. Uh, when you meet me, you're gonna say he's a winner. All the things I do are win. <laughs> I'm a winning guy. If you, if you, if, when you hang with me, you're gonna say, "Whoa, winning's not as good as it used to be when I first started doing it." Weird. Oh, we've got a video. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> The mountain epic Donald Trump president make America great again election shirt. It's Donald Trump riding atop a Trump branded tank <laughs> as fireworks and explosions go off behind him. Also, the tank appears to be of of e cigarette. Uh, yes, you can vape <laughs> off the cannon. You can vape that cannon. Uh. All right, so this is a guy, this this artist, who I'm sure they ripped off to make these uh, uh, T-shirts, like, no. has done these of every, of, like, every president in, in history. Like, he sure does over-the-top the, American There's no, uh, there's no. I mean, of course, if, if Donald Trump were to see it, he would say, hey, great shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's good. It's good. Very good. I know. Uh, okay, well, here's <laughs> – there are two names in the title of this product. Uh-huh. I want you to tell me what two <laughs> proper names are in the title of this product. Uh, monkey. Monkey. Proper names. Oh. Uh, monkey is in the title, though. Okay. So <clears throat> it's a monkey smoking okay, a cigarette. First, first of all, for, for all the audio listeners, it is uh, – first of all, you got to see it's it's a clip art – a uh, uh, very svelte gentleman w modeling a T-shirt. The T-shirt has sky blue on top. Mm -hmm. Hashtag after sex. It says sure. it yeah. depicts a you wear that after hashtag. sex. <clears throat> it depicts a leaning back chubby monkey, like a like a maybe forty pounds overweight, smoking a cigarette while wearing. Probably another shirt available on AliExpress.com, which is yeah. a full bleed picture of of, of a tiger uh, uh, underneath. Um, uh, proper name. Uh, I'm gonna say Kanye West. Kanye West is in there. All right. What do you think, Justin? What proper name? Uh, I think it's a uh, Monkey Shines. Wait, that, that's not a proper. That's name. not a proper name. Monkey. Man. I, I think he means Harambe. Justin means Harambe. That's his guest. I see this. Uh, for seven dollars and sixty-five cents a piece is the funny Einstein slash monkey slash Obama 3D printing t-shirts short sleeve O neck plus size for men slash women t-shirt boys. Kamisetas, T's B twenty one. Oh, what what is Wait, Donald? Show us, show us some of these other t-shirts. So yeah. that it's there are other colors, other <laughs> totally different designs. In <laughs> Go back. Oh, oh, oh. So you start off with with. Einstein. It's on the like tree tree fronds sort of backdrop. Looks and then like you've got, pot leaves. Then and you then... got Pepe, the frog, rest in peace. His eyes have been replaced with a zipper, and poking out of the zipper are a man's pecs. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, those are. Uh, and then Obama, <laughs> but his eyes have been like he's got P Peter uh, Pan. It, he's got uh, Peter, yeah, Peter Pan eyes. eyes. Yeah. Um, Man, that's great. These are great shirts. All right, Brian, which of these are we buying? <laughs> that Obama one is so ballsy. What, I mean, more than the Pepe the with Pepe the titties? The Pepe Peck. 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 <laughs> the Pepe one I can't wear in front of my kids. I'm pretty sure I can get away with the Obama Peter Pan. 
Well, who says you're going to wear these in front of your kids? Right. Right. These, are, these are our Dragon Con victory lap outfits. <laughs> okay. uh, this shit. one looks extra. The Peter Pan Obama one looks extra racist because Peter Pan's eyes look Asian. Yeah. I'm just going to say it. All right. What's that bottom one? Uh, this is a close other, up. close up of another design. <sighs> it's going to have to be the Pepe tits, right? It's Pepe tits is that's that's the star. I don't right? know. What about I'd probably go with after hashtag after sex. <laughs> and after Ooh, sex I, I could be talked in. I could be talked in to hashtag or hashtag after sex. <laughs> you know what? Two of those, like one of those, is just a, a disres- uh, just a terrible shirt. Two of them together are pretty great. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh no! In fact, we encourage everybody to buy them and then and to all show up at Dragon <laughs> God and see it wearing hashtag, hashtag after, sex. after sex. Use promo code NAP. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we did get, we actually got two of these. <laughs> the life of Pablo. <laughs> the, the church picture has been replaced with the fart. Which one? And then uh, the appropriate mixing of the three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm just now realizing how many of these are butt plugs. <laughs> Said that before. <laughs> uh, oh, but four. Oh, got him. Let's do. Oh man, there's just there's there's a treasure trove of links here. How about? <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be. Go well, on. I mean, I think I do. This is twenty. Oh, inch... that's a that's that's a butt plug. <laughs> 20 inch <laughs> cause original fake Star Wars Black Knight Dark Darth Vader dolls with Origina box Medicom toy CP0080. I don't know. Seven dollars and and the loss of your and the price of your childhood. Uh yeah, I'm gonna say that this one is a dollar twenty-five. Des- describe what this is. This, uh, uh, it's, it's, so it's, this is this is a, a Darth Vader, uh uh especially in the chest and the legs, uh, but however in the arms and the face. It is uh, deformed in a weird a platypusy kind of sense. Uh, with two X's That was my variety. favorite Bond movie. <laughs> when he goes to Australia, he's like, uh, who are you? You're like, oh, I'm platypusy, mate. Oh, jeez. What, what a voice. <laughs> it also has, like, a Cthulhu head. Look at my sexy titties. I'm platypusy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's only 20 minutes before the bomb goes off, Bond. <laughs> they, I used to call you James Bomb when I was a little girl. <laughs> anyway, do you want to get in my cunt? <laughs> I'm platypussy. I'm Australian. That's why Bond never went to Australia. <laughs> yeah, he was afraid to play. He was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. he was like, uh, <laughs> Q says, I have this incredible umbrella that will flap open whenever you get near a marsupial. He's like, well, that's why I'll never go to Australia then. And then there was a, 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 a fade back to a memory. <laughs> and then it was what we just said. And then he fades back and it cuts to a different scene. <laughs> yes. Uh, how much do you think this costs? It's 20 inches tall, I believe. $7.48. Uh, $7.48. Okay. Oh, I think it's definitely $8.10 because it goes up your butt. Man, you guys are really close. It was $184.49. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God. Now you just, uh, that's somebody selling that shit from Kansas. <laughs> it would be like... cheaper. Oh my God, it's two kilograms. Wow. What the fuck does that mean? The anatomical posture in terms of color and quality to be more stand more than standing for. Whatever that means. <laughs> more okay. All right. Sure. Do it. Hold on. Go back. Uh, <clears throat> sure. What's that last sentence? Each has its original box. Do not ask whether the original packaging. Never ask the original packaging. <laughs> hey, oh, President Trump. What's up? No. Oh, do not ask the original <laughs> packaging. It does come with a cape. <laughs> okay, all right. Look how flat it is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that won't fit in your butt at all. Yeah, I said that before. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can you guys tell me what this product is, what this product is used for? I'm pretty sure it goes in the butt. I'm pretty sure it goes in the butt. I'm pretty sure it goes in the butt because it's from China. 
Okay. That was another uh, Antler reunion song. <laughs> Antler Rhombus? Antler Rhombus. <laughs> Antler Rhombus, yeah. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was their experimental phase. <laughs> uh, uh, I believe that this is for electronics cleaning. So can you guys describe real quick what these what these objects are? Uh, yeah, yeah, so, no, uh, picture, picture uh, stuff to clean electronics. <laughs> that's geez. what it is. You got tweezers. You got a you got a scalpel. You got you got a, 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 a frothy tips of uh, a, a, a feline stimulator. Uh, yeah, I, I, one of these goes in the butt. A uh, uh, Benito Boom Crash in uh, the Twitch chat says it's it definitely butt cleaning slash tuning equipment. Got to tune <laughs> like, your butt. Make oh, you sure. know what? It, it, it actually it, does look like operating at peak proficiency. This is this is cleaning equipment for the rusty trombone. That's what this is. This is this uh, ma- Russ no more says uh, the, the 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 listing here. Your rusty trombone will be. Uh, uh, humming a sweet tune as if Satchmo himself were playing it when you use Rust no more. All right, this is the 10 pieces health ear pick, earwax remover, cleaner, tweezers, God tool, damn. goose feather, stick fuck? curette, set ear care machine. It costs $9.39 a piece. I, it looks like it's a bunch of steak knives that you would just shove in your ears. No, it looks like a mixture of like manicure tools and acupuncture tools. This seems like a shockingly bad idea. Well, yeah, I mean, whose finger is this long, by the way? I, I, well, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a good point, man. You can't, have, you can't, have, you're gonna puncture your goddamn brain. Yeah, exactly. No, it feels like, wait, no, bring that, bring that back, Bryce. Mm. That, uh, this would be what Alec Baldwin would hold up in Glen Gary, Glen Ross. <laughs> this second say, prize, right? Second place gets a 10 piece ear pick, earwax remover, cleaner, tweezers, tool, goose feather, stick, cure red, set ear care machine. Third prize, you have to be president. <laughs> First place, a new Cadillac. Third place is your fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we did get another Photoshop of the life of night attack. <laughs> It's pretty good. Which one? <sighs> Four, three, two, one. Uh, all right. Here's um, we gotta have we gotta have one that that brings it bring it uh, brings it to a close here. I feel like we've had a very fruitful trip through uh, 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 Alibaba, AliExpress. Mm, I'm a Patreon of her <laughs> of Alibaba. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 Ali Spagnola's uh, evil twin. <laughs> so this is <laughs> she. <laughs> She doesn't have those abs. She, oh, no. she, she wears, wears long underwear on all of her pictures. <laughs> and she always wears the same shoes all the time. <laughs> they all, the yeah. shoes always match. The they always shoes. match. Always. Yeah. Uh, 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 these are drinking songs, and they're all a minute and a half long. <laughs> <laughs> How responsible. Um, this is a game. I'm going to tell you what it's called. And you tell me what the rules of this game are. This okay. is the double person funny fake games for kids, gadgets game, family, parent, child, prank jokes, games, challenge toy, anti-stress gifts, WH001. Who boy. Uh, it does look like they're on the set of Double Dare. Uh, yeah. There's a child peeling something off of a very sad bodybuilder's face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, get, I didn't get my clean protein in this morning. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty I, disgusted at the abuse. Okay. Uh, I feel like we're ignoring a pretty critical part of this photo. All right. I think it's very clear that the point of this is that you put an egg in the top of that hat, and then you slam down those red levers, which crushes the egg, spreading it all over your head. Or not. And- like, I think I think there's random to it. Like, you you have to take turns, you know, stabbing yourself in the face, and whoever actually gets stabbed is like, ah, you uh, got stabbed whoever, in whoever the face. Whoever cracks the egg or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Mm, interesting. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so what it is 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 there's a bunch of sticks in there, and you spin a thing, and it says you have to move one, remove one or two or however many that oh. it lands on, and then you remove, and then at some point you remove the one that causes the milk to shoot all over your face, and it's called a bukkake of jalafs. Jalafs. Uh, jalafs. 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 Yeah. <laughs> It's a special bukkake of laughs because your whole family's <laughs> Will there. Will you be the next wet head? Yes, it's called wet head, which is maybe the 
Uh, not Are great. You ready to I be mean, the next they, cream face? They they probably should have stuck with the original, like the original Bukaki. <laughs> Before it got perverted, <laughs> Bukaki was a traditional term for spreading egg on your child's <laughs> face. <laughs> oh God damn it! Uh yeah. So I'm gonna say that's uh twelve dollars thirty five cents. Okay. I'm going to say that that is uh, uh, $15 and uh, 15 cents. It's $17.84, Justin. You're oh! way closer. Uh, they only have 997 of them available, so you know you want to get so in get on, on it. Get on that real quick. <clears throat> get that motherfucking on it. Well, Brian, uh, uh, I feel like we, we definitely uh, 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 went through AliExpress. Uh <laughs> Came out yeah. the other side, only to find a big old steel hook in our way, trying to trying to get out the back side of AliExpress. Uh, man, I didn't. I had no clue that 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 was uh, butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what, sorry. Um, what huh? did you... Still blown away that you you, oh, you got yeah. so much the butt stuff is just floating around on on AliExpress. How many though? Do you have any of the other that you can bring up that are all like like butt insertion? Sure, there are a, there were uh, someone sent this along. This is electro sex stainless steel penis urethral catheter oh, anal oh, plug oh, electroshock oh, oh, sex toys for men. Oh, oh no no urethral catheter that electrocutes you that's not no 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 if no, sounding is no. not good enough for you no no you no, do no, that. no uh you no, can no. buy uh where is well, it well brian can... brian if, if if the president were to talk about that product uh, how would how would he sound <laughs> i haven't i haven't seen something so filthy and since slanted hillary <laughs> uh you can buy uh uh chastity devices uh, S size stealth lock mail chastity device cock cage virginity lock with three size penis ring cock ring adult game chastity belt A239. And if you don't love it after 15 days, return it. <laughs> so does that mean you might buy a returned one? I love it if somebody returned it because, like, yeah, my dick got out. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm sleeping, and uh, next thing you know, I'm fucking some guy, and I'm uh, like, well, what the fuck, man? I, I thought my dick was in for the night. Yeah. Hey, what say we take some time to do the the presidential retreats? <laughs> what? Sure. <laughs> it's me, the president, Donald Trump, and I want to recommend that we all take a look at Diamond Time. What's Diamond that? Club. Diamondclub.reddit.com or reddit.com slash r slash diamond club is where you can shout out your own projects every week, especially when me, the president, reads your submissions. <laughs> anyway, MJ Zerian writes, hello, Diamond Club slash chat room, Mike here. I've been a fan of Brian and Justin all the way back to BB Live Show, and I've been mostly silent viewer of the show who participates here and there but loves everything that we do. I'm coming here to ask for anyone who is willing to provide help. I am participating in the Out of the Darkness Walk in Washington, D.C., that's where I live. Oh, enough, <laughs> Mr. President. For those of you who are unaware, this walk is to raise money for suicide prevention and support those who have lost someone to suicide. I work at a suicide prevention hotline in Virginia, and this cause is very important to me. Any amount of support is deeply appreciated. If you, if you are able to go or able to help, please go to YOLO420.com slash prevention swag. Again, that is YOLO420.com slash prevention swag. And threaded that needle that was hooked into a butt hook. Uh, Troll Dan says, I just want to say hi to everyone out there. Hi! YOLO420.com slash hello swag. What's there? That takes you to the Reddit. Oh, it does? <laughs> it takes you to this <laughs> Reddit you... thread. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> And finally, Chimera96 writes, uh, Diamond Club has given me good times, good friends, and a lot of fun. So I want to have fun giving something away. I'm giving away a free stickers or DIAF.com mega pack. Sure, you can buy them yourselves, but this one's free. Oh, he's trying free, to screw free. you out of money, Justin. He's trying to screw you out of money. No, you, I swear you, to God, this son of a bitch, I'm going to fucking crush him. You eat them dollars. You eat them. That's how you live. That's your sustenance, bro. I know, and then I, I shock the poop out of me with my urethra uh, uh, electrifying tool that I got from AliExpress. Hmm. 
Uh, all right, so here's what you got to do. Tweet him, FitzShiv29. That is F-I-T-Z S, or sorry, F-I-T-Z C-H-I-V-2-9 with your best GIF or Twitch clip, and I'll pick a winner before next Tuesday. So far, ICU is in the lead. Uh, not only are we, going, are we going to give away just one mega pack, we'll be giving away two. Keep an eye during Bad Weave and W Scottis One's Jackbox streams on Twitch for another chance to win. See you next Tuesday, fuckos. Yeah, now it's time for the movie draft minute. Welcome to Movie Draft Minute, presented by Cosmic Radio TV for the week of May eighth, twenty seventeen. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. If you want to be cool, first you pull your headband into the cool position. Then you just lean back, put this hand in your pocket, and then wave this hand behind you like you just cut one and you're trying to shoo away the stench. Let's go check the scoreboard. Team Core Killers is in sixth place with $45.9 million. Team Scotch Bros is in fifth place with $58.7 million. Team Frog Pants is in fourth with $84.6 million. Team Nine Tech is in third place with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 bringing $156.3 million a week. Team Big and Tall is in second place, $156.8 million. And in first place, the whopping $248.4 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your Minute for the week of May 8th, 2017. We're fucked. We're fucked. How are we fucked? Because we had sex. <laughs> <laughs> A dark secret revealed. <laughs> no, I think I think we're fucked because uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, if, if it's going to crack 400 million, which was our optimistic hope, I uh, needed to do a better opening weekend, but 156 is not bad. Wait, no. Why would it have to do better? It'll it'll crack 400. The first one did 333. You think? And it made it made 100 million on the first weekend. Okay, well I stand corrected. We're the best. We're we're the best around. Oh no no no. We're still definitely fucked because the oh. the, the, the the tracking. Why, why are on... we why why are we fucked? Uh, <laughs> because the dragon on pirates is lower than we need it to be, oh. but not necessarily guardians. Guardians was. Uh, I mean, we, you would have liked it at like 200, but, you know, it, it, it did 150 and, yeah. you know, we have three movies, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's our big that's our big mistake, right? There's just no there's no crawling out of that hole, no matter yeah. how so, shiny no, the Pirates look. is actually uh, so it's tracking about a hundred million dollar opening. So that'll probably do closer to 300 something. But still, I mean, I don't know. Although possible, I guess if possible. one makes four hundred, the other makes three hundred, that'll be seven hundred million yeah, plus yeah, yeah. you know the ten million that Girls Trip makes. Like that puts us in the conversation. But Dude, I still think get uh, ready for uh, two weeks of frog pet, hot frog on frog action. If you thought those uh, Pepe tits were were amazing, then Team <laughs> Frog Pants is going to light your fire because they have King Arthur, <laughs> Legend of the Snore, uh, Snatched. Legend of the Nobody's Watching, and Alien Covenant, Legend of the Rated R movie during the summer <laughs> holiday season. Yeah, they're pushing the shit out of Covenant, though. Like, I, I keep seeing uh, commercials for it, but I feel like I, I, I don't know whether or not people are like, yeah, you fooled me once with Prometheus, motherfucker. Yeah, no. Like, I don't care how much crazy shit you show, you show in the trailer. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got nothing. Hey man, uh, what 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 did we learn this week, Justin Robert Young? <clears throat> and well, uh, uh, I think we learned that uh, Bonnie's gonna have an exhibition. Oh man, this weekend. she sure will. Catch that clay media. Uh, we learned that uh, the president has some interesting uh, aspects to him that I never noticed before. Remember to spread the impression. That was the president saying it. I like the fact that his okay symbol has the, these crooked fingers in there. The depression's just begun. We learned uh, that AliExpress uh, uh, remains the number one place in the world to find things that aren't currently up your butt. <laughs> I died of fire. See you next Tuesday. I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> Justin Robert Young Every time you go I get so sad That I wanna Drink a warm glass Of Drano Night attack Night attack Night attack Night attack Night attack Night attack.
Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>